And welcome in, ladies and gentlemen, right at first pitch here in Austin Town Fitch. And first pitch slated for 5 o'clock, getting early. It's 457, and we are underway. First pitch is fouled away by Conti for strike one. DJ Oakley with you here. Thanks for being with us. Probably, and I said this on the Power Hour, one of the biggest games of the year you are witnessing right here on YSN. Beautiful brand new scoreboard out there in right field for Austin Town Fitch. And the Baby Blues, one of my favorite jerseys of the many that the Fitch Falcons have. They got them going on here today. Conti takes strike two, the one-two. The wind, and that one misses. Evens things up, two and two. These two teams, tough, go at it for Boardman down south in Myrtle Beach. A couple injuries that really get them on their heels, and there's Conti delivers into right field on the two-two. And gets the Spartans their first base runner of the contest. The leadoff single for Stephen Conti. Here's Griffin Widrig, who, if you recall, was the hero in Boardman's contest against Canfield. Time is called, and Roth going to check out and get a wristband. Well, he had three minutes, Mark. It's an extra three minutes. <laughs> Mark Roth sitting to my right on the ones and twos. Coral is going to come set. Deals. That one in there to Widrig, 0-1. Widrig with that walk-off winner against the Cardinals. Three teams. We talked about it on the Power Hour today. Fitch, Boardman, and Canfield are in for a gauntlet with each other. This is just the beginning. Light wind blowing out towards left field as Coral delivers this one. It's fouled away by Widrig. Off to the right and out of play for strike two. Falcons with the white pants, baby blue based jersey with the navy in the middle, red outline. With, I believe, Falcons across the chest. Yes, sir. Coral comes set. Peaks at Roth. Deals. That one. Living above the letters. Ball one. 13 games on the network tonight. On a chilly day here in Northeast Ohio. We are certainly not in Myrtle Beach anymore. Coral comes set. Deals. That one gets away from Roth. That's going to advance the runner to second base. And now the Spartans are in scoring position here to lead off the first. Roth peeks down at the wristband, gets the code from the side, and will try to relay that to Coral. Two and two the count. Coral quick look to second base. Lifts and relieves Griffin Widrig of his duties here to the tune of out number one. Number 11, Jason Treveri. So here comes Jason Treveri. Treveri, as the story goes, was part of a collision down south. And he... And I'm trying to think. I think it was Guy he got into it with. And that was the kind of tail of the tape down south that really started some of the events. And admittedly, some bad defense from the Spartans cost them a few games. And now they're looking to come north and make up for it where the games, not that they didn't count down south, but they certainly count a little bit more up here where everybody knows your name, like cheers. 
Treveri fouls this one back. One and one. <laughs> yeah, it's never good. When you run into a, a human freight train like 11, your your odds are pretty low <laughs> of uh, of walking away from that. Yeah. That one misses low and away. Word on the street is Treveri got on the bus one time and the bus is in the ICU. Two and one to the future Division One star. Treveri holds and it's now a hitter's count three and one. So Jay can sit and wait. Trap is set here for Coral. Roth knows Treveri a little bit. Probably going to stay out of the sweet spot. No potato pie coming for Treveri right now. Ooh. Strike in on the hands. Good job by Roth. Treveri took a sneak peek. Roth was sitting outside. That one came in. String is out on Treveri. The pitch from Coral. Check swing. Did he go? No, he didn't. Ball four. So that's going to be a one-out walk. That will put Treveri on. And Butto comes to the plate with a chance to Get his point across here early. Boardman, especially in games like this, big, big conference games, you cannot slumber through runners in scoring position. Coral trying to do some mountain magic here. Deals, Butto takes, ball one. Coral once again comes set. Slide step, fastball, swung on and missed by Butto. Comes up empty. One and one. It's one thing we're definitely going to work on for future Fitch games is getting inside the fence. That one misses ball two. Excited to hear that Scene Park, it sounds like they're going to do away with the entire fencing and do netting. That's going to help us out substantially. 2-1, cut on and miss. Butto again swinging for the parking lot and comes up with no scoops. 2-2. Two and two. Coral comes set. Peaks back at second base. And a little flustering from the Boardman dugout. Nothing like baseball chatter. But O stands back in. Coral deals. Curveball, strike three, got him. And the punch out from the home plate umpire. He knows that this game means something. So now you've got two down Number for seven, Fitch. And here comes Desenzo. Jack Desenzo, standout second baseman for the Spartans. Left-handed, sweet swinging lefty for Coach Gabriel. Cora looking to shake off. The hook here and leaves that one high and dry, ball one. Wind changes up. It's blowing out towards center field. Coral sets, deals. Strike at the knees. One and one. Coral, he's a fighter. A prize fighter. 
No fear anywhere in the count. The 1-1 one, one delivery, slide step. This one popped up and out of play quickly, one and two. <laughs> the noise is back. I feel like we're at Eastwood right now. Coral strike three, and he gets off the hook. Desenzo retired, and the Spartans come up empty. We are on to the bottom of the first. The Falcons fly out of harm's way. It's 0-0. 21 News delivers the news as it happens, using the latest technology from where it happens. Live here outside the Mahoney County. On air, online. Uh, Wednesday afternoon weather update. Very dangerous and on the 21 News social media platforms. From on the road right 21 now. News, Young the Valley's Bay only Bay locally Bay owned Bay source Bay for Bay trusted Bay news Bay since 1953. Reliability. Innovation. Scale. These three values are those we look forward to in our business and in our team. If you're ready for a reliable employer who looks constantly to think outside the box in big ways, we're ready for you. Apply now. Help us push the envelope and deliver success. Envelope one, take that one extra step. WRS Wealth Advisors, the area's premier wealth and retirement specialists, located on South Avenue in Boardman. So the customer, you know, has a concern with their vehicle. They bring it in. As the day goes on, we track the vehicle. Once the technician finds out what's wrong with it, they bring it to us. We make an estimate for them. We let them know what's wrong with it, how much it's going to be. I try always try to calm people down the most that I can, let them know that they can trust us and that we're going to do the best we can to help them and get it fixed. I'm Erica Hovis, and I'm ready to go the extra mile for you. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Best part about baseball is you can swap stories between innings. That's where the, the best business is done. DJ Oakley with you here. Bottom of the first, Fitch gets off the hook. They had two runners on, did Boardman, and Jake Coral somehow wiggles off the antenna and gets out of there scoreless. Here's Mikey Shortino who will dig in for the Fitch Falcons. Again, this win could go a long way for Fitch. Could go a long way for Boardman. This is one of those games where you dream of. You don't necessarily imagine that it's going to be 48 degrees. <laughs> but it is what it is, and that one dialed in by Gavin Hyde for strike one. Hyde. Unbelievably, probably one of the most under the rated under the radar pitchers in our valley. As that one hits Shortino on the arm, and he will be gifted first base. So I'll bring up Drew Kaschek. Kaschek has worked his way up the lineup and into the favor of some of our YSN folk. Ty Bartell. Speaks so highly of this young man. Two spots so crucial to a batting lineup. Guy gets on, so you're expected to move him over. Guy doesn't get on in front of you, you're expected to get on. First pitch in there for a strike. Kaschek showed bunt, pulled back, and took strike one. Gavin Hyde had, with that sneaky velocity, just incredible just creeps up on you before you know it shortino with a nice lead over there hide and offer does kaz check and that's strike two not a pretty offering at that as either kind of just poked at it senior joe roth standing on deck 
Kaz check. Waits, here's Hyde, delivers. And strike three on the outside corner as Kaz check pulled back, and now there's one away. Kaz check took about seven steps, turns around, and wanted to know if it was a strike or if it was on the offering, and I don't know the um umpire gave him the information he was looking for. But here comes the left-handed hitting Joe Roth. And well-documented Roth on his way to the AK Rowdy next year. Join the Zips. Rumblings of two-way participation from Mr. Roth. Strike on the outside corner from Gavin Hyde. Gavin not messing around. He's known to pound the zone. Joe's got to go up there with a mentality of he's going to give me something to hit. I have to take advantage. Hyde, right, quick turn over to first base. Woo, baby. That one. Bang, bang, play over at first. Shortino got caught up in the moment but got back to the bag in time. Runner goes, up firing, and Shortino's going to be in there with a stolen bag. So Roth takes the strike, but the runner advances to second. Hyde comes set, and time is called from the box. So Roth wanted to think things over. Give Hyde something to think about as well. The 0-2 the man in scoring position. Both teams now have had that luxury. Cervello sets. Hyde, this one fouled back into your living room. Hope you didn't drop your device. Stays 0-2. Roth digs back into that brown turf, dirt-like, but it's not. It's all turf. Beautiful facilities here at Fitch. Curveball. Bender got him on the outside looking. So now two down, and that'll bring up Popio. Brandon Popio. The nice thing about when that happens to a catcher is you walk back and you say, well, guess what? Now I know where the zone is. Popio has had a nice season. Takes a strike right there. A little airbender from Gavin Hyde. Popio waits, high deals, another strike, dots it right at the knees, 0-2. Cervello doing a nice job back there. Helping out Hyde. Not that there's much needed, but Cervello nonetheless is, it's like an art form. Hyde checks the runner at second, lifts and deals. Right at and leaves it wide. Ball one. This be pitch number 13 for Hyde here in the inning. Gavin comes set. Slightly closed stance 
as he sets. He goes inside, move, nobody home, and Shortino back to second base, unaffected. High deals. And the curveball hits Popio right on the, look like on the top of the quad. So that's going to put runners at first and second. Same scenario as as uh, Boardman had, rather. And two outs. Just took Fitch a little bit longer to get there. And here comes Bell Sullivan. Strike right across the stripe on the Falcons jersey. I had a long look in. Bill Sullivan with those red batting gloves to accent the blue. Shortino goes to third, and he is thrown out by two steps. Tough read by Shortino, and he is gunned down for out number three. So the Spartans shake off the pair of base runners the same way that the Falcons did. We are on to inning number two right here on YSN. Mill Creek Metro Parks invites you to join them for a second season of youth soccer, May 7th through June 18th. A six-week program featuring six games plus a tournament at the Wick Recreation Area. Five, seven, nine, and 11 youth players can register now. Sign up and don't miss your chance to join a team. Youth soccer at Mill Creek Metro Park. Call or register today at millcreekmetroparks.org. If you can dream it, you can live it. Enjoy outdoor living at its finest with outdoor furniture at Chili's. Whether hosting picnics or dining al fresco, with outdoor dining sets, you can bring family and friends together. You can create an outdoor oasis for your patio or deck perfect for relaxing summer evenings. And unwind under the stars when you cozy up to a nice fire. Savor the season with outdoor living at Sheely's. Sheely's, proud partner of the Cleveland Cavaliers and Cleveland Guardians. Before the lights come on, before the workday begins, before a long day has ended, or it's time to have fun, it all starts with the people at Joe Dickey Electric. From replacing a light fixture in your home to building a substation for your business, no job is too big or too small. The people of Joe Dickey Electric power them all. Joe Dickey Electric, over 60 years of powering the Mahoning Valley. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. After one, still no score. Boardman and Fitch, 0-0. Zero, zero. DJ Oakley with you. Mark Roth right beside me. The kingpin of Austin Town Fitch, my guy. Colin Thomas going to lead things off for the Spartans and fouls that one away for strike one. Interestingly enough, script has been pretty much the same for both teams to this point. Both have not scored with a pair of base runners aboard. The opportunities have been there. Obviously only one inning in the books, but a lot of story has been written already. Thomas takes that one for strike two. These two teams rained out last night here, and the conclusion to this series is Roth gets shaken up on that one, gets him look like on the hand. You said, what's the 9th of May? They're looking to, to reschedule this? Later on, but not ideal for Austin Town Fitch at all because they play two against Canfield. And then a day off and not really enough time to get them back in there. May 11th. 8th and 9th is Canfield. And then 11th would be... What am I... Here's Canf Canfield's here. <laughs> surprise, surprise. 
the Golden Locks have shown up. This one popped up first base side and the play is made over there for out number one. Number 23, Isaiah Torres. So here comes Isaiah Torres. Torres, the righty stands in and takes a big nasty cut at that one for strike one. Torres looking to send that one back to Canfield. Coral winds and deals, and Torres soft swinging that time, and it's 0-2. Coral got them all twisted up. Through the wind. That one cut on and missed for strike three. So now two away. Number six, Caleb Satterfield. So here comes Caleb Satterfield. Satterfield has done a great job holding down the outfield this year, particularly center field for the Spartans. Young man has a bright future. That one misses low ball one. Coral through the wind, he deals. This one chopped foul. Two ball, or excuse me, one ball, one strike. Talked about that brand new scoreboard out in right center field for the Falcons. Just got it all here. I mean, this is a professional facility from top to bottom. And I know there's been some hard work from the administration all the way down the booster clubs and everywhere in between as Satterfield swings and misses at that. And these Fitch kids have no idea how good they have it here. Wind picks up towards center field. Coral wheels and deals. Satterfield gets a hold of one. Left field. That's going to be back to the track, and one hops the wall. Satterfield around first, hitting for second with a two-out double. Caleb Satterfield gave that ball a ride and points to the skies, giving the glory where it belongs. Number four, Seth Cervella. I don't think you ever get used to hearing gunshots here in Austin <laughs> So here comes Seth Cervello. <laughs> Mark and I both looked at each other when that gun went off. <laughs> Too close. <laughs> Pitch delivered in there for a strike. Cervello, a Star catcher for this team. Young man has so much talent. We are so catcher heavy here in the area. As Cervello gives this one a ride. And to center field it goes where it's hauled in and put away. One on, one left aboard, and no one crosses. We are on to bottom of the second here on YSN after this. We're here to be part of something bigger, to make things happen. For you, college is about knowledge being shared, and learning experiences that aren't limited to the classroom. On campus, you want to matter. It's about engaging every day, building relationships with students, with mentors, with the community, in the heart of a reinvented city. We are that something bigger. We are Youngstown State University and proud. 
Hi, this is Tommy Clem, owner of WRS Insurance Solutions. WRS Insurance Solutions is a local independent agency that specializes in life, Medicare, long-term care, and disability products. Call us at 330-953-3722 or visit us at wrsinsurancesolutions.com to learn more. Good luck to all the student athletes in the Valley. Every customer has a story, whether it's buying a car for the first time, helping them get approved, or finding the perfect car for their budget. I'm proud that people trust me with their story. I'm Tracy, and I'm ready to go the extra mile for you only at Greenwood Chevrolet. For a great vehicle and a great experience, come to Boardman Mitsubishi today. As always, our full lineup of Mitsubishi models comes with a standard 10-year, 100,000-mile powertrain warranty. Boardman Mitsubishi, your hometown Mitsubishi dealer since 1999. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. DJ Oakley with you here for this AAC matchup. Borman and Fitch, nothing, nothing. Bell Sullivan going to step back in. Technically still his first at bat, but the second chance to see Gavin High. Advantage? Well, let's find out as we dig into this one. Shortino thrown out to end the inning. Giving Bell Sullivan a second chance to see a first pitch before anybody else. That one misses low for ball one. Fans, don't forget, you have your opportunity. If you're looking for YSN gear to save 20% in the month of April, and the umpire ducking out of the way of that one, you don't see that often. I don't know what exactly he was wondering. Yeah, that was that was a Ron Potesta move right there. And a strike in there. Cuts the count in half, two and one. I've heard it. If you can't see it, you can't hit it. Front fires, if you can't see it, you can't call it. Two one. That one. Evens things up with a high to fastball in the outside corner, two and two. Got a track meet going on behind us. Baseball game in front of us. That ball misses above the hands, three and two. And it's softball game over there. It looks like it's, is it still one, or is zero, zero? So Ty's got a good one over there. I've got a good one here. And ball four as Bell Sullivan has a good at bat right there. And is the first Falcon aboard here in the second. So Carson Fuller going to check in, second baseman. Get his first look at Gavin here. Fuller with a little wiggle in his at bat. Bob Euchre said in Major League Two, drives the women wild. And then when <laughs> Parkman played for the other team, makes the women here puke. The 1-0 puller, just trying to get some routine in, I think. People don't realize that. <laughs> Wiggle is, is more just getting comfortable. I was listening to the Pirates broadcast the other day, and John Wayner said that the biggest mistake or thing that people don't realize the most is when you're looking to hit, there's a negative action before the positive action. And most coaches, especially early on, want you to just go from point A to point B, and it couldn't be further from the truth. That, that doesn't happen. When you throw a punch, anything you do, you want to do with power, there's got to be a negative rotation back and then a positive rotation forward. Same in hitting. Any power is going to come from the negative back and then the positive forward. Running backs do it in the NFL at every level. One step back and then you go. The explosion. 2-1 is 
pounded off the plate. It's going to be foul. And there is a trio of Spartans that surround it and make sure that it is announced foul. I thought that was interesting because you don't, you don't hear that a lot. Most coaches will tell you just, hey, you go from here, keep your elbow up, and go here. Things you don't want to do. Yeah. Rubber band. Yeah. yeah, it's back and forward. Now, you don't want to go all the way back and all the way forward. You just have a heavy swing, long swing. But whatever works for you. I've seen more bad swing in professional leagues than I've ever seen in high school. They got there because they can hit it a long way. Three and two, the count here. Fuller trying to join Bell Sullivan on the base paths. Here with nobody down. Just a wellness check. Well, Mark and I are absolutely okay right now. In case you're wondering, you heard the gunshot in the background. The starter pistol. <laughs> Stormtrooper. Check over to first base. Nothing there. Runner goes. And that one hit and run over to right field. This could be trouble. Ball caught at right field. Bell Sullivan beating feet to get back. Safe at first. Just got back in time. And if he didn't slide, he would have been called out. There was no doubt about that. Traveri unloads and a one hopper right to Torres. And that was almost a double play. So with one out, Falcons will trot Warmoth to the plate. High deals. That one misses up and away. <laughs> now, they're, now they're shooting doubles. Double barrel action. And time's going to be called. Gabe's, Coach Gabriel, I should say, is going to come out and have a chat. And the Jeopardy music plays in the background. We'll take a quick break. Pay some bills back after this on YSN. 60 years ago, Baird Brothers Fine Hardwoods began with three siblings, a handset sawmill, and a few local orders. And while business has certainly changed over the years, what has not are our principles of hard work, craftsmanship, and commitment to quality. At Baird Brothers, we're proud to put our name on the products we create, from moldings and doors to flooring and lumber. Thank you for 60 great years. We look forward to 60 more. Baird Brothers, for the place you love. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. DJ Yokely with you. A 1-0 count to Warmoth. Coach Gabriel wanted to make sure everybody was on the same page. Bell Sullivan gets his lead off first here with one away. Hyde sets. And dots a fastball right at the knees, making it 1-1. One and one. Another great showing here at Austin Town Fitch. This is the place to be right now if you're looking for high school athletics. You can get a little bit of everything. Hyde checks the runner. Bell Sullivan back on his belly. Safe at first. Track and field, some of the best over there right now. Nick Plant of Canfield just broke a 48-year record in the county. On Saturday, Swarmouth swings and misses over top of that one for strike two. That kid is special. Caught up with him during football season. And he's so laid back. Like, could not care less <laughs> about any of the records he breaks. He just goes out and, as this is cut on and miss, strike three. Bell Sullivan is going to be in. With a stolen base there. Defensive indifference. To finish the thought on plant, I asked him 
why is it, you know, what pushes him to run fast and run run so hard? And he said, because I want to be done. Not many, not much to leave uh, the mind wondering about that one. That's that's my kind of runner. You're running to finish. You couldn't tell me to run 400 meters unless there was a pit bull behind me. That's why I liked baseball. 90 feet at a time. First pitch in there for a strike. Petridis. He's had a nice little year. Another one of the great arms for Coach Paris. Bender cuts across the strike, and it's 0-2. So Gavin Hyde, that was pitch number 32. Starting to figure things out. Hyde lifts, deals, cut on, missed, and that will retire the Falcons here in the second. After two, your score. Falcons zero, Spartans zero. Borman coming to swing it when we come back. Change. This one word can make you break out in a cold sweat. But with change comes wisdom, experience, and understanding. At Myers Family Insurance, we can help make changes in Medicare, insurance, and retirement a positive experience for you and your family. We've gone through changes, like our new office and new faces to help our family of clients, too. For all your Medicare needs, call Myers Family Insurance. Check us out online at MyersFamilyINS.com or find us on Facebook. WRS Wealth Advisors is the area's premier wealth and retirement specialist. With our combined 70 years experience, WRS Wealth Advisors is the area's premier wealth and retirement specialist. Call 330-965-0370 to learn more about our individual and corporate financial planning services or visit WRSWealth.com. Good luck, athletes. Now is the time to think about your future, where you want to go, what you want to be. Your future can start now at Kent State Salem or Kent State East Liverpool. We have programs that will open doors and provide opportunities for you to pursue your passion. We are affordable, we are close, you call it hometown, we call it Kent State University. Learn more at www.kent.edu backslash Columbiana. You belong here. Welcome back, everybody. Back to the top of the lineup we go where Stephen Conti resides. Conti one for one with a single to lead off the ball game. Jake Coral sitting at 40 pitches now. Is that one in there for strike one? Spartans did a good job of running up that pitch count in the first inning. Second inning, kind of, Coral owned it. And there's another fastball and starting to really get in his groove now as the Amish assassin. Coral winds, deals, and cut on and missed. Good morning, good afternoon, good night, Mr. Conti, for out number one. Number 17, Griffin Widrick. So here comes the crime dog, Griffin Widrick. So Griff will stand in. Got the stirrup look. The mid sock. You don't, you don't really see that anymore. It's either up or down, and, and Widrig kind of like playing both sides of the fence there in a foul ball. Fashion statement for Mr. Widrig. Either that or he got the last draw on the pants. He got the... <laughs> now I'm going to give him credit. He probably got what he wanted. Great family, the Widrigs. Part of the Astro organization for such a long time. Is that one Bender in there for a strike from Coral? 0-2 on Griff. That was, were you guys coaching together? Mm -hmm. Okay, I, th I thought so. Strike three on the outside corner. Widrig retired for out number two. And Jake Coral 
business is picking up. And then here comes the natural. Jason Traveri will stand in. This young man is special. You get him good morning, good afternoon, good night. You've done something. And Traveri sends one down the left field line and foul. Traveri projects to impact the YSU baseball team pretty quick when he steps on campus this fall. Highly touted prospect for Coach Bertolini and the Penguins. And a nice pitch outside Widrig. Or excuse me, Traveri looking for an inside pitch and misses 0-2. Traveri stands back in, the pitch, and there it is. Good morning, good afternoon, good night. And like I said, Jake Coral, you did a little something. And Fitch is fired up. On to the bottom of the third we go. Still no score. Fitch coming to swing it. We return. If you can dream it, you can live it. Enjoy outdoor living at its finest with outdoor furniture at Chili's. Whether hosting picnics or dining al fresco, with outdoor dining sets, you can bring family and friends together. You can create an outdoor oasis for your patio or deck perfect for relaxing summer evenings. And unwind under the stars when you cozy up to a nice fire. Savor the season with outdoor living at Sheely's. Sheely's, proud partner of the Cleveland Cavaliers and Cleveland Guardians. Before the lights come on, before the workday begins, before a long day is ended, or it's time to have fun, it all starts with the people at Joe Dickey Electric. From replacing a light fixture in your home to building a substation for your business, no job is too big or too small. The people of Joe Dickey Electric power them all. Joe Dickey Electric, over 60 years of powering the Mahoning Valley. It's a new year at Acura of Boardman and Boardman Mitsubishi with huge savings on over 350 fully inspected vehicles. We have cars, trucks, SUVs, minivans, and work vehicles. We don't have it, our team will find it. We aim for 100% credit approval with payments as low as 99 per month. And as always, we'll pay top dollar for your trade. For a great vehicle and a great experience, come see why everyone is stopping by at Acura Boardman and Boardman Mitsubishi. Jimmy Sudman here, director of Isle, Purple Cat, and Golden String. We are happy to support YSN and two of my favorite people, Scotty Mincher and Super Dave O'Malley. We are an agency that provides services for adults with disabilities. We infuse humor, passion, and joy into their lives. If you know of any folks with disabilities that need our assistance, please contact us. And hey, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Bottom of the third. Here on YSN, Austin Town Fitch hosting the Boardman Spartans. DJ Oakley with you. Appreciate you hanging out with us. Chilly day. Most of you probably inside the comfort of your own homes. So we appreciate it. The one thing we do ask you to do as strike is in there, 0 and 1 on Perry, is. You see these folks to the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. There you see Greenwood Chevrolet in Austin Town. We want you to support them as much as possible because they're making everything possible for you to be able to have your feet kicked up and enjoy these student-athletes and some of the commentary, probably not most of it, especially when I'm on. But make sure you support them and support these student-athletes when the weather does warm up and maybe bring a blanket if it doesn't, because Lord knows it could be like this until October. Then we start it all over again. These kids need your support, and they want it. They want you to see them live and in person. And trust me when I say this, that Austin Town Fitch and Boardman have shown up today. And you love seeing that. As much as I love hearing from you at home, I love seeing your face here and looking down and seeing some of the as we call them, lightning bugs. People watching other games from around the area while they're at a game. 
That one in the dirt, Cervello. Chess up, and the count goes full on Perry. Gavin Hyde. Here comes pitch 40, and it's fouled away. Spoiled. Oh! Did Gabe's catch that? No way. He had one stored. I thought he caught that. Okay. <laughs> I have a giant two by four in my way. Three balls, two strikes. Gavin Hyde comes set with a little flip of the glove, deals, and misses. Ball four, and for the third inning straight, the leadoff man is aboard for Austin Town Fitch. That'll bring up Mikey Shortino. Shortino let off the game with a hit by pitch for the Falcons. Again, I got a ton of feedback after the power hour about how this game would not live up to the billing. That one up, and Cervello just got leather on it. So far, uh, I would imagine all those people are wishing they had a uh, delete email button. Zero, zero in the third in a pitcher's duel. Perry gets a couple extra feet off. He's going to go. Cervello comes up firing, and nobody home. The shortstop was off. Widrig, I don't know what the plan was there. Desenzo broke towards first base. And Widrig took a long route around second base. But Perry now gets the SB. Counts one and one, and Shortino with a chance to crack the goose egg here in the third. And the breaker in there for strike two. Cannot wait to talk to Mikey Shortino. I'm sure he's got stories specifically about his dad that would make even the most – <laughs> pompous person blush. His dad is one of the most entertaining human beings I've ever met. That one lives above the letters, ball two. Yes, great family. So many. And I know I'm biased because I love baseball families. There's a common bond there. But there's so many in this area, yep. Especially here, Borman Fitch. That one misses... Away, and the string is out now on Shortino, three and two. With nobody down, you don't necessarily want to put somebody on and have to wiggle off the hook What's again. Up, Shortino waits on Hyde, who comes set across the chest. He deals. Cut on a miss and a big strikeout for Hyde there. First out of the inning and will open the door for Drew Kaszczak. Now batting the right fielder number 11, Drew Kaszczak. Looks like the Fitch Falcons have taken the lead in the softball game as well. one nothing. So now Kaszczak will try to do the same thing for the Falcons on the baseball field with a runner in scoring position. And only one away. High deals. Dots a fastball for strike one to lead off the at-bat. Joe Ross standing on deck. Got to talk to Joe. He's still got the shin pads on right now with one out. He's not exuding confidence. <laughs> this one dribbled to the third base. Long throw by Butto. Got him. A bang, bang play. A nice play 
by Anthony. But that will retire Kazchek. Perry moves up to third, and here comes Roth. Roth with a big-time opportunity to put the Falcons up 1-0. He drops the shin guards, and he is in the box, ready to go. Roth up for the big dog of the Valley last week. Word on the street was there was some suspicious activity <laughs> coming from some of the voters. This one roped to shortstop Widrick. Backhands it, fires. It's a bang, bang play. And what a play by Widrick, robbing Roth of the RBI and the base knock. Defensive battle here in Austin Town. Back after this. Why choose local? Because you live here, work here, learn here, relax here, and celebrate here. 21 WFMJ is our valley's only locally owned TV station, and our focus is local. Other TV stations don't have that same focus, as their owners are somewhere else. But 21 WFMJ is rooted in the valley. Local people making decisions that affect your life, right here where you live. It's a new year at Acura of Boardman and Boardman Mitsubishi with huge savings on over 350 fully inspected vehicles. We have cars, trucks, SUVs, minivans, and work vehicles. We don't have it, our team will find it. We aim for 100% credit approval with payments as low as 99 per month. And as always, we'll pay top dollar for your trade. For a great vehicle and a great experience, come see why everyone is stopping by at Acura of Boardman and Boardman Mitsubishi. Mill Creek Metro Parks is launching its first ever co-ed youth NFL flag football league May 14th through June 18th. Registration is now open for 4, 6, 8, 10, and 12 U players. All games will be played Saturdays at the Wick Recreation Area. Sign up today and don't miss out on a chance to be part of this surging American youth sport backed by NFL flag football. Call or register today at millcreekmetroparks.org. Hi, I'm Colin Chupa. And I'm Kelsey Clem from K-Squared Marketing. Our boutique marketing firm specializes in media planning and buying, public relations, event marketing strategies, and strategic sponsorships. We can integrate our services with your existing game plan, or we can be your entire marketing team. Your goals, our game plan. Let's, Let's win, win together. together. Call K-Squared Marketing at 330-623-623. 2730 or visit ksquare.marketing to learn more. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to beautiful Austin Town, Ohio. DJ Oakley with you. It is a 0 0 affair here in the top of the fourth inning. Anthony Butto will lead things off. A nice play defensively for AB in the bottom of the third from third base. He puts this one right up the elevator chute. And third baseman over and will make the play for the first out. Petritus showing off the leather. So one pitch at bat for Butto. And there is one away for the Spartans. Number seven, Jack Desenzo. Jack Desenzo will stand in for the maroon and white. Today the Spartans in their good-looking maroon tops, the gray bottoms, the away pants, so to speak. We've already talked about the Falcons threads. Never second best. That one inside, ball one. I will argue, there's something about the maroon that's always caught my eye, just sharp. It's a good baseball color. I remember being on Wayne's machine. I was maroon. <laughs> This one roped by Descenzo to second base. Fielded on the backhand, thrown on the hop, and a beauty of a play around the horn for the Falcons. Two away as Descenzo is retired here in the top of the fourth. So here comes Colin Thomas. Descenzo will go 0 for 2 to this point. And Thomas... 0 for 1 coming into this at bat. Coral through the wine deals and leaves it above the Spartans on the chest. Four ball one. 
Try to get some updates for you across the way. Canfield not in action. They're going to say Thomas went around. Canfield literally down the left field line. Trying to check out what's going on with these two teams. Joke's on them. They could have been watching on YSN. This one roped to second base, and the play is made. And it's a three-up, three-down inning for Jake Coral. We are on to the bottom of the fourth inning. The Falcons, are they going to be the first to crack the goose egg here on YSN? Back after this on the network. It's storm season. I think we're under the gun for some heavy storms over the next couple of hours. And Storm Tracker 21 is ready. This is probably the one we're keeping a closer eye on. On air. And locally, we're going to have a lot of eyes on our area. Online. All right, let's talk high risk future cast and the timing of this weather. On social media and on our app. Notice we'll have scattered showers on Thursday. Stay ready with Storm Tracker 21. The severe weather threat now through around sunset this evening. YSN is very important to me because it gives me a platform to talk about what I love and what I have a true passion for in life, and that is sports. The possibilities are, are just endless, and uh, every day we continue to grow and get better. My name's Scotty Mitcher, and my sports network is your sports network. Your teams work hard and give it all they've got. Well, so does ours. Because 21 Sports and YSN give you extra effort when covering local sports. 21 Sports and YSN, winning coverage of our Valley's teams. 21 News delivers the news as it happens, using the latest technology from where it happens. On air, online, uh, Wednesday afternoon weather update. Very dangerous. And on the 21 News social media platforms. I'm on the road right now. 21 News, Young the Valley's Saturday only Saturday. locally owned source for trusted news since 1953. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. DJ Oakley with you here. Probably just got a bunch of Austin Town Fitch viewers because Lady Falcons now lead six to nothing on Boardman over on the softball field. And now Brandon Popio going to lead things off. A little motley crew trying to kickstart some offense for the Falcons. And Popio goes right side. It's going to be a fair ball. No, foul ball. It sure looked like he signaled fair ball. <laughs> I'm not so sure, but okay. All right. Foul ball, strike one. Sure looked like there was an initial fair ball, then foul ball signal. You know what they say. You can argue with yourself as long as you don't answer yourself. Oh, Popio on loads, deep to left field, back it goes, and she's gone! Popio goes, yeah, yeah, here in the bottom of the fourth. I guess he'll take that foul ball now. What a shot by Beepo. <laughs> that baby was gone and a no doubter. And everybody's amped up now. Motley crew for everybody. So now, Fitch breaks the tie with a Popio home run. And Bell Sullivan will be tasked with restarting the engine as everybody's energized now on the third base dugout side. First pitch from Hyde in there for a strike 0-1. One nothing here, six nothing over there, and gotta believe Fitch track is doing something special. They typically do. Not my phone. <laughs> it's, 
that one. Ball one. <laughs> Trying to electrocute us. Shoot us. Wind blowing out towards center. Bell Sullivan watches that one. Ball two. A little bit of the wind taken out of the sails of the Spartans here in the fourth on that solo home run. Bad news is you're down one nothing. Good news is it's only one nothing if you're Spartans. Through the line. Here's Hyde. Deals. This one fouled off. Back to the screen for strike two. This game brought to you in part by Greenwood Chevrolet in Austin Town. Trust driven and always going the extra mile for you. Hyde lifts and deals. Up and away, ball three, three and two now. Nobody stirring in the bullpen for Boardman as of right now. Hyde's only at 57 pitches. See how he responds. A little adversity here in the fourth and misses. Ball four and another Falcon aboard here to start the fourth. Stepping in for the Falcons for second baseman number three. Carson Fuller. Carson Fuller will stand back in. Bell Sullivan on for the second time tonight. Checking in on Fuller. Fuller 0 for 1 coming into this at bat. That one misses. Ball one. Coach Gabriel getting a little bit concerned, so he sends a pair down to the bullpen to get warmed up. Hyde sees that, delivers a strike to even the count one and one. Spartans and Falcons pretty set up for the long haul here. Two historically proud baseball programs. The Spartans have a ton of talent coming up. A couple years ago, those 11 U state champions will be entering the program here shortly as Hyde checks over to first base. I believe the eighth graders this year for Boardman are going to be another special team full of those 12 U's. Runner goes. Cervello comes up firing. Bang, bang, and got him. At second base. So the runner erased from the base pass. As Cervello shows off the cannon from behind the dish. He had Bell Sullivan dead to rights that time. Two balls and a strike. Fuller. Waits and takes a strike, tries to sell it a little bit high. Umpire not buying. Cervello sets up, transmits the signals over to his battery mate. Hyde lifts and deals. Curveball. And that one's going to find center field on a base knock by Carson Fuller. So nice at bat for Fuller. So here comes Hayden Warmoth. Warmoth 0 for 1. We'll look to get something started here offensively for the Falcons. They've already got the lead. Now the pressure's off them. We'd like to get some of these insurance runs cleaned up and Knock the Spartans down a peg or two. Hyde just trying to shake off. This one, swinging bunt, gets past Hyde, beaten feet, and got him at first base. A bang, bang play. 
And the Falcons have two down now here in the fourth. Runner in scoring position. Now batting the third baseman, number 19, Mason Petritus. Here comes Mason Petritus. Mace again has really started to make a name for himself in the Falcon program this year. Can help him leave a legacy today by helping move that runner around and trading places. Giving the Spartans a two-run deficit. Hyde probably going to have something to say about it. Pitch. This one tapped second base. Desenzo under it and makes the play. First pitch. Take a cut of the breaking ball. It'll cost you. Three down for the Falcons. They put one across. They leave one aboard. It's all nothing. Austin Town Fitch, when we come back here on YSN. Every customer has a story, and at Greenwood Chevrolet, we are committed to making sure it ends with you in the right vehicle. I get to be part of somebody's adventure, whether it's buying a car for the first time, helping them get approved, or finding the perfect car for their budget. I'm proud that people trust me with their finances. They trust me to take care of them, and they trust me with their story. I'm Tracy, and I'm ready to go the extra mile for you only at Greenwood Chevrolet. Change. This one word can make you break out in a cold sweat. But with change comes wisdom, experience, and understanding. At Myers Family Insurance, we can help make changes in Medicare, insurance, and retirement a positive experience for you and your family. We've gone through changes, like our new office and new faces to help our family of clients too. For all your Medicare needs, call Myers Family Insurance. Check us out online at MyersFamilyInS.com or find us on Facebook. For a great vehicle and a great experience, come to Boardman Mitsubishi today. As always, our full lineup of Mitsubishi models comes with a standard 10-year, 100,000-mile powertrain warranty. Boardman Mitsubishi, your hometown Mitsubishi dealer since 1999. WRS Wealth Advisors, the area's premier wealth and retirement specialists. Located on South Avenue in Boardman. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Top of the fifth, Fitch one, Boardman zero, courtesy of the Brandon Popio long ball. Jake Coral leads off with an off-speed pitch, and it's taken for strike one. Yeah, there's a, there is quite a uh, little bit of wind out there. Mary Poppins is going to pop up somewhere. Wind pushing towards center field and a strike. Makes it one and two. Torres sitting today 0 for 1. Trying to break that up. And Torres goes down swinging. For strike three and out number one here in the Boardman half of the fifth. Number six, Caleb Satterfield. Satterfield comes to the dish one for one with that double he put deep into the Austin Town sky. One hop the fence, see if he can replicate his efforts here and try to get Boardman stirring up. Down by one, Coral. Lines and fires. Caleb Satterfield right up the chute. Coral going to take it himself and snags it for out number two. And what you don't want right now if you're Boardman is Coral to go through an easy four, inning. And the veteran Seth Cervello will come in and try to make sure that doesn't happen. Cervello serves as one of those Second leadoff hitters at the bottom of the lineup. 0 for 1 today, though. Coral with 59 pitches on his resume this afternoon. 
And dials in number 60 for strike one to Cervello. One and one now on Seth. Patience is a virtue. They always talk about it on several different situations, whether it be sports or life. Right now, both teams have battled that very same mindset as Cervello tries to launch that one into outer space like a, I was going to say Elon Musk missile. But now he's more concerned about Twitter. We we'll, won't get into that. Oh, and that one's inside. I thought they got a piece of him. It doesn't. Just getting out of the way is Cervello. Yeah, that might be one you take it right, but right in the four. You can sell it if you want. <laughs> Coral deals that one inside. Tap towards third base. It's fielded by Petritus on the first, and Cervello retired. One, two, three inning for the Falcons. We head to the bottom of the fifth inning. Still, Falcons one, Spartans nothing here on YSN. Back after this on YSN. You're here to be part of something bigger, to make things happen. For you, college is about knowledge being shared, and learning experiences that aren't limited to the classroom. On campus, you want to matter. It's about engaging every day, building relationships with students, with mentors, with the community, in the heart of a reinvented city. We are that something bigger. We are Youngstown State University and proud. So the customer, you know, has a concern with their vehicle. They bring it in. As the day goes on, we track the vehicle. Once the technician finds out what's wrong with it, they bring it to us. We make an estimate for them. We let them know what's wrong with it, how much it's going to be. I try always try to calm people down the most that I can and let them know that they can trust us and that we're going to do the best we can to help them and get it fixed. I'm Erica Hovis, and I'm ready to go the extra mile for you. If you can dream it, you can live it. Enjoy outdoor living at its finest with outdoor furniture at Chili's. Whether hosting picnics or dining al fresco, with outdoor dining sets, you can bring family and friends together. You can create an outdoor oasis for your patio or deck perfect for relaxing summer evenings. And unwind under the stars when you cozy up to a nice fire. Savor the season with outdoor living at Sheely's. Sheely's, proud partner of the Cleveland Cavaliers and Cleveland Guardians. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We enter the bottom of the fifth. one nothing Fitch. Brandon Popio right now, the hero. Gavin Hyde back out there, dealing. Joe Roth warming up in the bullpen for the Falcons. Interesting. If that's what, I mean, it, it could be smoke and mirrors, but I don't know why you'd get somebody up in the bullpen. One of your aces. Do you have a game tomorrow? Okay, so you might be okay. That, that might be. Still doesn't sit well. Don't want to second guess coaching. That's not my job. That's their job. Two and one now. On Perry. Shortino waiting on deck. Falcons trying to strike. And this one ripped first base side. Nicely fielded by Torres for out number one. That one hopped right up to him on this beautiful turf. Something that probably doesn't happen anywhere else in the uh, the county right now. It's either going to stick in the mud or it is going to skip away like a schoolgirl towards that right field line. 
So right there, advantage Boardman, and Torres makes the most of it for out number one. Mike Shortino digs in. And I could be wrong, but I believe this is the first time as a strike goes across that Fitch has not had a leadoff runner. That one gets away. Ball one, one and one the count. So you look at that. When you're looking at pluses, if you're Coach Paris and you're sitting back and you're trying to unwind tonight, no matter the outcome of this, that's a plus. You can get the majority of your leadoff hitters on base. The minus would be you've only got them. Well, you haven't got them across at all because the Popio home run was solo shot. So you got to work on that's one of the biggest things that when you're playing big boy baseball, when you get somebody on, small ball should be top of mind. Productive outs. One and two the count. You can tell this is a meaningful game when you've got Coral going and Joe Roth goes to the pen, warms up. Means a lot to the Falcons. They know it. With no game tomorrow scheduled as of right now. That one misses a little bit tall, two and two. Tino stands back in. Hyde sets at the chest, lifts and deals, and this one towards the shortstop. Widrick circles it, fires across. Bang, bang, play, and Torres holds on just long enough to get the out. Always makes me nervous when the umpires point at the bag. Sometimes they want to be the star of the show, and sometimes they want to be a, uh, a supporting actor. Two outs here for the Falcons in the fifth. Drew Kaszczak will check in for the Falcons here. He's 0 for 2. First pitch, breaking ball, misses away, ball one. While we have a moment, I want to shout out one of my good friends, Donnie Riccatelli, who is watching while he's taking in some of the track meet. I know he's out there somewhere. There's a told you so also floating out there between Riccatelli and myself. This one flown out to the right. Fielder Treveri snags it for out number three. So three up, three down for the Falcons. We're on to the top of the sixth. Ordman trails 1-0 here on YSN. Before the lights come on, before the workday begins, before a long day has ended, or it's time to have fun, it all starts with the people at Joe Dickey Electric. From replacing a light fixture in your home to building a substation for your business, no job is too big or too small. The people of Joe Dickey Electric power them all. Joe Dickey Electric, over 60 years of powering the Mahoning Valley. season. I think we're under the gun for some heavy storms over the next couple of hours. And Storm Tracker 21 is ready. This is probably the one we're keeping a closer eye on. On air, 
and locally we're going to have a lot of eyes on our area. Online. All right, let's talk high risk future cast and the timing of this weather. On social media and on our app. Notice we'll have scattered showers on Thursday. Stay ready with Storm Trucker 21. The severe weather threat now through around sunset this evening. Top six here in Austintown, Ohio. DJ Yokely at Coppola Field. Beautiful facilities here. Seven nothing. Austintown pitch over the Boardman Spartans on the softball field right now. You can tune into that one. Ty Bartell has the call for you. Leading things off for the Spartans. Who do we have? Is it Conti? Looks like Conti. Yeah. Conti fouls it off. Strike one. This one cruising along as it stands right now. We talked about Roth being in the bullpen. Probably in a closer's role this evening. Which, again, probably not a crazy idea. It is a meaningful game. Conference games mean that much more. But there's always, you always go back to when a catcher is catching. And look, perfect example right there. Throwing the ball back to the pitcher. Think about all the times that a catcher has to throw the ball back to the pitcher. So his pitch count, quote unquote, goes up throughout the game, and then you put him in. They've taken precautions at little league levels and, and younger levels. As Conti gets a swinging bunt, this one is going to roll foul, and wisely, Joe Roth snags it on the right side of the line. So the count evens at two and two. There's just so many different, and look at this. Listen, if you don't take anything away from this game, take this. Sportsmanship at its finest. A lot of these guys have been playing each other for 10 years, 12 years. You love seeing sportsmanship in the game, no matter which way and wherever you can find it. Coral deals the 2-2. Two -two. He, he just punched him out. Strike three. Oh, my. He ducked out of the way and punched him out. Oh my goodness. I think everybody was confused. Oh my, Widrick stands in. Wow. That one. Inside ball one. Widrick. Oh. Conta is going to watch that back later on and wonder what's going on. I can't tell him. <laughs> He's, you were right, young man. Somebody get a wellness check on Coach Gabriel. The 2-0 popped up. Shallow center field. And the play is made for out number two. So with two outs, that brings up Jason Traveri. And Coach Paris is going to put a halt to that. We'll talk things over with his infield. He calls in the whole troop. We'll take a break. Back on YSN in 30 seconds. Change. This one word can make you break out in a cold sweat. But with change comes wisdom, experience, and understanding. At Myers Family Insurance, we can help make changes in Medicare, insurance, and retirement a positive experience for you and your family. We've gone through changes, like our new office and new faces to help our family of clients, too. For all your Medicare needs, call Myers Family Insurance. Check us out online at MyersFamilyInf.com or find us on Facebook. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. DJ Yokely with you alongside my good friend, Mr. Mark Roth. 
Jason Treveri digging in with two down here in the top of the sixth. Coach Paris wanted to have a conversation. And I got to believe as first pitch misses, Mark and I were talking, probably went a whole lot like this. Don't throw him any meatballs. <laughs> Treveri can make you pay. Ooh, inside. And 2-0. and oh. We saw Popio go deep for Austin Town. Make no mistake about it. Traveri can put good aluminum on the ball, too. This one fouled off, and Roth got a better piece of that one. Two and one as Traveri checks in on his Astro teammate. So Joe's Joe's getting it from the Borman side. <laughs> Traveri stands back in. Coral deals. And a strike at the knees, I think. It now makes it two and two. Joe must be doing a great job of selling frames. All those summers of working at Joanne's Fabrics paying off for him. Buy one, get one. Traveri goes right up the middle. This is going to hop itself into center field. And Traveri with a little two-out lightning gets a single up the middle. So here comes Butto. Traveri now going to be one of two on the evening. And Butto come looking for his first base knock. Time would be now. Traveri, they got to keep close. Slide step, Butto. That one taken inside. Butto didn't like that at all. A.B. stands back in. Traveri, short lead off of first base. Coral sets just below the chest. A long wait. And time granted this time for A.B. Borman yelling from their dugout something. Otto stands in, Coral, sets. This one fouled off. They play for Nightline? I can't remember. They play for Nightline? Duredge. Terry Dobson. Oh and two here on Butto. Two down. Top of the sixth. Pitch still up seven nothing on the Boardman Lady Spartans. Traveri leads off a of first tight. I was going to say, he has a little bit of a tilt towards second base. I don't know if he's showing his hand or intentionally or possibly. A little bigger lead over a first base. The 0-2, Roth out of the 
There he goes, and it's a wild pitch. So Traveri is going to be into scoring position. Everybody in the facility knew what was happening there. I think Jake just got a little bit mixed up and let Traveri live in his head rent-free on that particular pitch because Roth's got the gun to get Traveri out especially on a pitch out, 0-2. You can sling one away right in the bread basket. So Butto now with an opportunity to tie this ball game up. The 1-2, focus turns to Butto. This one, chopped towards a shortstop, fielded. Long throw across, they got him. Butto retired, one left aboard. Nobody comes across. It's still one nothing. Fitch headed to the bottom of the sixth. They're looking for insurance runs brought to you by our friends at Myers Family Insurance. Change. This one word can make you break out in a cold sweat. But with change comes wisdom, experience, and understanding. At Myers Family Insurance, we can help make changes in Medicare, insurance, and retirement a positive experience for you and your family. We've gone through changes like our new office and new faces to help our family of clients too. For all your Medicare needs, call Myers Family Insurance. Check us out online at MyersFamilyInf.com or find us on Facebook. Reliability. Innovation. Scale. These three values are those we look forward to in our business and in our team. If you're ready for a reliable employer who looks constantly to think outside the box in big ways, we're ready for you. Apply now. Help us push the envelope and deliver success. Envelope one, take that one extra step. If you can dream it, you can live it. Enjoy outdoor living at its finest with outdoor furniture at Chili's. Whether hosting picnics or dining al fresco, with outdoor dining sets, you can bring family and friends together. You can create an outdoor oasis for your patio or deck perfect for relaxing summer evenings. And unwind under the stars when you cozy up to a nice fire. Savor the season with outdoor living at Sheely's. Sheely's, proud partner of the Cleveland Cavaliers and Cleveland Guardians. Hopkins catcher number four, Joe Roth. Bottom of the sixth inning, DJ Oakley with you. Here comes j -Ro. Joe Roth to lead things off for the Falcons. Gavin Hyde still out there on the bump. Hyde has 77 pitches to this point as we see Roth dig in. That one, about 59 feet, six inches. In there for ball one. Shoot it away. Roth 0 for 2 this afternoon. And that one, back foot slider looked like, or at least an attempt at it. And that one misses 2 and 0. Oh. The old four spot, originally number 44. Grew up wearing it and then could not get it. Is there this will be 79. Roth with a 3 0. Get me over. Ooh. <laughs> that one must have been low. I thought the umpire turned with authority. So here comes Popio. Popio, last at bat. Hit the ball a country mile into the parking lot. And Looking for another one here, but he'd settle for some good contact and finding some green. 
matter what shade. You got two different shades of green out there with the Austin Town Fitch logo. This one is flared foul for strike one. Roth looked like he had a little, little wiggle in that out there. Getting a little antsy. J. Rowe feeling fast in the baby blues. Ooh. I was going to say, he got a little extra out there. Big frame catcher. Pitcher at the next level. Again. Coach Sabo likes what he sees on both sides of the field from Joe Roth. Oh, a little extra. Uh-oh. Torres with a nice backhand play and decides to take the route at first base. Now, typically, and we, we talked about the inexperience. Torres was actually led towards second base. And you'd like to see him deliver that Widrig over at second base. Maybe Widrig wasn't there. I, I wasn't, I didn't see the entire play. I just saw that Torres took the easy out at first base, which is, is fine. One's a must, two's a plus. But you're trying to keep that runner from scoring, and now you've got Joe Roth in scoring position. Here's Bill Sullivan taking ball one. Bell Sullivan yet to have an official at bat. At least on Game Changer, it's 0 for 0. Two walks, says Mark Roth. This one is belted and past the diving Widrick. Left fielder up with it. They're going to deliver, and Bell Sullivan comes through with the insurance RBI brought to you by Myers Family Insurance, and it's 2 0 Fitch. So Carson Fuller will enter the box. Now it makes you wonder, from the standpoint of Jake Coral, will you keep Coral in the game, only giving up three hits? Or do you put Joe Roth in, in a closing role? Coral has pitched, what do we have? He's got 80, 57 strikes. Again, I'm not in the business of second-guessing coaches, but I can tell you what I would do. I let him go. Save Roth for May 11th or whatever. <laughs> Whenever you meet up again, I, I do not show Boardman my other pitcher, unless I absolutely have to. one nothing's a different game. 2 nothing, you have some flexibility. Now, if Borman cuts into the lead, okay. But if you get three, as you got Bell Sullivan on first base, then you're feeling pretty good. High deals, breaking ball in there for strike one, and that's one that you'll take every single time for strike one. And Fuller, I think, without realizing what he did, did a good job. Check over to first base. Bell Sullivan back safely. 7 nothing. Is it final? It is a final. Over on the softball field. Breaking ball in there again. Oh and two. Hyde with a long look over Bell Sullivan at first. Deal, slide step, fastball, got him, strike three. 
credit where credit is due, it's been there for both teams. So now you've got two outs for Hayden Warmoth. Most important for Austin Town Fitch is they get that run. And it's 2 nothing. Pitch. This one tapped towards second base. And the play is made by Desenzo. One run crosses, one, or one runner left the board, and it is 2 0 Fitch. Boardman backs against the wall. What will they do? The Spartans looking to swing it. We come back on your sports network. Before the lights come on, before the workday begins, before a long day is ended, or it's time to have fun, it all starts with the people at Joe Dickey Electric. From replacing a light fixture in your home to building a substation for your business, no job is too big or too small. The people of Joe Dickey Electric power them all. Joe Dickey Electric, over 60 years of powering the Mahoning Valley. We are Kent State in the Valley. Start and finish one of more than 25 bachelor's or associate degree programs or start one of Kent State's 280 majors. With low tuition, public, and plenty of scholarship opportunities, we will help you maximize your education and minimize student debt. Enjoy the benefits of a smaller campus with all the opportunities of a large university. Save money, stay close to home. Apply today by visiting kent.edu slash Trumbull. Why choose local? Because you live here, work here, learn here, relax here, and celebrate here. 21 WFMJ is our Valley's only locally owned TV station, and our focus is local. Other TV stations don't have that same focus as their owners are somewhere else. But 21 WFMJ is rooted in the Valley. Local people making decisions that affect your life right here where you live. It's a new year at Acura of Boardman and Boardman Mitsubishi with huge savings on over 350 fully inspected vehicles. We have cars, trucks, SUVs, minivans, and work vehicles. We don't have it, our team will find it. We aim for 100% credit approval with payments as low as 99 per month. 21 News delivers the news as it happens using the latest technology. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Apologize for that uh, little snafu there towards the end. Make sure you check out our friends at Acura of Boardman and Boardman Mitsubishi. Top of the seventh, 2 nothing. Fitch with the lead. Boardman, three outs left in the chamber. First pitch popped straight up and fielded for out number one. Not what you want to hear as a Spartan fan. That was Desenzo, who will finish the day presumably 0 for 3. And Colin Thomas checks in 0 for 2 to this point. Five, six, seven have not delivered a hit for Boardman today. And that's what we've got here. First pitch in there for a strike on the bender from Coral. Joe Roth has been warming up for two innings in the bullpen. So Boardman makes things tight here as Thomas fouls this away for strike two. Got to believe Coach Paris will go to the pen. But when you do pitch counts, you don't really take into effect what a pitcher does in the bullpen. Some kids, some people, some pitchers, I should say, take longer to warm up than others. Others can throw six pitches and then they're ready to go. Now again, presumably, Roth already cooking it well done. Change up popped up. This is us. Is he all right? I don't know. I was watching Joe the entire time. I lost him down by the fence. I didn't know if. Okay. 
0-2 to Thomas. Coral through the line to Dios. And fouls that one away. And J. Rowe turns around to see that one off the fence. Fans, don't forget, tons of action on YSN. Looks like the weather's going to cooperate in one perspective, and it's not going to rain. Not exactly going to be warm. Tomorrow, temperature's dipping at, down into the 40s. 41 slated as the high as of this morning. And Thomas going to call time from the box. Umpire grants it. Just under two hours right now. This one towards first base. Swarmuth picks it up and tabs the bag for out number two. So one away from a big AAC victory over the rival Spartans. And there will be a substitute in. Aiden Miller will check in the game for the Spartans. Get his first look. First pitch in there. No. Was he say strike? Okay. He just kind of waved his, his hand. I'll go strike with you. We stand in solidarity. That one cut on a miss by Miller, 0-2, and, and Spartans down to their final breath. Aiden will dig in. Coral looking to finish things off and go the distance. Through the wind. Upstairs. Makes it 1-2. and two. Cut on and missed, and the Falcons get a big win. Put it in the nest. 2 nothing. Falcons over the Spartans, and Coral was pumped up to finish on a strikeout. Your final score once again, 2 nothing. Falcons. Co-players of the game here today. Jake Coral is going to get one. And Brandon Popio for the solo shot in the fourth is going to get the other player of the game. Congratulations to the Falcons on a big, big win to start their trench war here in the All-American Conference. My name is DJ Yokely. I have had such a good time hanging out with you tonight. Make sure that when you check out live streams, you go to ysnlive.com slash live. That'll do it from Austin Town Fitch. Good night, everybody. YSN thanks you for watching this presentation of Your Sports Network. For stories, stats, and more, go to ysnlive.com.